Hey, Honest Options Traders. Today, I'm going to review a book by Scott Nations called Options Math for Traders, How to Pick the Best Option Strategies for Your Market Outlook. In Options Math for Traders, Scott Nation takes a non-mathy approach to the mathematics of options trading, focusing on the hows and whys of volatility and sharing some practical, if conservative, strategies for options trading. I like that the book was relatively easy to read. Despite having the word math in the title, it's pretty light on the overall mathematics. The author goes into the Black-Scholes model, for instance, but the equation is nicely laid out and he quickly goes into the underlying ideas of the model. The book also covers a lot of elements about options trading that I think goes overlooked, like the skew and the bid-ask spread. Some of those topics are not necessary for trading per se, but having a well-explained description of all the parts of the options pricing model is great for strengthening one's education in options trading. The book is also very well organized as Nation splits the chapters into consistent and reasonable sections, ending with a takeaway section that nicely summarizes the key points of the chapter. So what was wrong with it? I do wish the author had gone over straddles or strangles in his trade section. That said, he's upfront with why the strategies he chose to go over he feels best represents the phenomenon he's trying to capture in the book. So three lessons from the book. One, volatility combines speed, magnitude, bumpiness, and direction. A trader has to keep all four of these concepts in mind when preparing a trade, keeping them in mind when asking the question of how can I take advantage of the shifts in these components? Two. Volatility is skewed toward the downside. Volatility in a down market goes up faster than volatility in an up market goes down. Make sure to consider this phenomenon for strategies that use out of the money put options. And three, one way to think about the bid and ask prices is to consider the bid as the wholesale price and the ask as the retail price. Market makers can make their money either on the spread itself or on the volume that occurs from high liquidity, like with SPY. So who should read this book? Intermediate to advanced traders who are looking for deeper insight into the Black-Scholes model and how volatility comes into play during trade, and beginners who want to dip their toe into deeper waters without being overwhelmed. Beginners won't necessarily be able to apply many of the details, but I think that the book will age well with new traders who commit enough time to practice. I give it a thumbs up. And that's what I think of this book, honestly.